I, what I found is if you can run out of these drills, it's a good indicator that we're in the right body positions, our arms are in the right spot, and the energy is going in the direction we want it to go. Welcome to the Pole Vault Vlog. My name is Sean Francis, and here we talk everything human stick flicking. It's kind of it's what we do, right? So one of the biggest things that we learn in Pole Vault is moving the pole to vertical, from an angle to vertical, and how do we do that? There's a bunch of ways to do it, but I have this series of drills that seems to work really well that I start every beginner vaulter with, and I want to share them with you. And they're one of the QR codes in this book, in chapter six, about moving the pole to vertical. Here we go. So the first drill is we want to work on getting the pole from an angle to and past vertical. So I choke up a little bit and I just work on moving the top of the pole where the sticker is, where all your tape is, and trying to get it pointing where you want to go. The pole plant starts, we're at vertical, we're past vertical. That's our goal. Here's what it looks like the other way. How I like to start is I put the pole right at my toes or have it put it right at my athlete's toes. Reach up as high as they can with their right hand. I have them step back and just knee drive and hang on. So from there, as the pole vaulter starts to feel comfortable and they step back, they can go up a finger at a time try and hang on the pole a little bit more, and they're good to go. Another thing you can do is you can take the bottom arm off the pole if kids start pulling on the pole too much. That's exactly what you want to avoid. If we start pulling on the pole, watch what happens to the pole. I go back the other way. I'm not even going to vertical anymore. If I keep the same grip, I keep my arm straight and I push it forward, the pole moves to vertical. Pulling on the pole never works, and this is a safe way to make sure we learn the correct habits. So I like to start in the exact same place, reach up as high as you can, start walking, plant the pole, we're getting into the air a little bit. Pull it around, walking. As the pole vaulter starts to be a little more comfortable, they can go up a finger at a time, nothing more, nothing crazy. So while we're doing this, we're progressing, make sure we're thinking about jumping over the plug. Plug gets too far in front of us, it'll even slide on the grass and people will fall down. And that's why we start on the grass instead of on the track. So arm up, we're working, we're moving the pole to vertical. Walking, moving the pole to vertical and past. So the next progression, since we went from standing to walking, the next progression is jogging or running. So let's start with a jog first. Do the exact same thing, following the same principles we're already doing, slow progressions. I forgot to mention, start with a low grip and slowly progress your way up. This is true for almost every drill we're talking about. So if I forget to mention it in the videos, slow progressions are the best progressions. One thing to reinforce is having the athlete run out of these drills. It helps keep them really tall while having energy move forward. And I found that if they can't run out of these drills, they're probably leaning back and they're hitting the brakes, which is something we don't want. They might be pulling on the pole, which is again, pulling their hips forward, which is something they don't want. Really, I, what I found is if you can run out of these drills, it's a good indicator that we're in the right body positions, our arms are in the right spot, and the energy is going in the direction we want it to go. It just fixes a lot of issues without having to talk so much. Hey, I want you to run out of this drill. And they go, oh, how am I gonna do that? And then they figure it out on their own. And then I look like an awesome coach and I didn't have to say much. All right, and then you just add a little bit more speed and with more speed, you can grip a little bit higher. Just make sure you're, if you're an athlete, you're not gripping way too high right off the bat because danger and death could happen. If you're a coach, make sure you're paying attention to your athletes and making sure they're not doing that either. So let's do a little run. We just learned all of these drills and from here you can repeat the same series in the sand or the pole vault pit. Just keep in mind when we go to the pole vault pit, it's up, it's, it's elevated, it's higher than the ground. So athletes tend to start to lean back and it's something you're just going to have to be aware of when you start doing that. In the chapter on the turn, we'll start showing you how to use these exact same drills to help an athlete turn and invert. Guys, I hope you found that helpful. Remember, there's more than one way to pole vault. I hope to see you in the next one. I'm sure I will. Right, it feels good, man. It feels good, right? All right. Yo, yo. I'm in the light at the end of the tunnel. 
Paper stacks, yeah, I got them in the bundles Harry Potter breaking bread with the muggles They said I wouldn't make it, now they looking puzzled They said I wouldn't take it, how to go on hustle Get the bag, get it I'll see you in the next one I don't know why I did that, that's like, that's like, I'm directing airplanes. Like, I'll see you in the next one. Go, go this way, towards, towards PRs. PRs are yonder, yonder that way. I'm directing you towards PRs.